Hello everyone, this is Rashida. Welcome to my channel. My today's video is going to be my first video on machine learning. I am planning to make a series of videos on machine learning and today's one is going to be the intro for absolute beginners. If you haven't ever worked on machine learning and even do not know how it works and what it does, this video is for you. I will try to explain the machine learning, what it does and how it works in very simple and plain language with no mathematical formula, no technical language. What machine learning is? Machine learning is a process where machines can mimic the learning process of a human brain and can perfect its learning over time. Just imagine how a baby learns walking, talking and social behavior. Babies just simply observe their surroundings, other people around them and keep those experiences in their brain. Eventually they start doing the same, walking, talking and behave according to the society they live in. Consider this machine as the baby and this data as the experience the baby get from the surroundings. So we feed this data to the machine and make the machine learn from this data. Alright, so machine learning is the process of learning of machine. We will talk about it a little more detail in a bit, but before that, let's just learn the types of machine learning. There are two major types of machine learning, supervised learning and unsupervised learning. All the machine learning algorithms in the world can fall either in the supervised learning or in the unsupervised learning category. So what is supervised learning? So let's learn through an example. Look, here we have some data. like nice, amazing, great, beautiful, best, lovely. These are the data, some words, and we label them as positive sentiment. We are feeding this data in the machine and telling the machine that if you see these words in a sentence, consider them as a positive sentiment. And if you see bad, ugly, worst, poor, awful, weird in a sentence, consider that a negative sentiment. Just think, just social media or online shopping platforms, we have so much comments, so much data, text every day coming in, millions of them, right? And businesses would want to know if they're getting positive comments or negative comments. How they can do that? They can hire people who will keep reading these comments and then they, and can decide if they're getting positive comments and negative comments and they can calculate how many positive comments they're getting, how many negative comments they're getting. But is it an efficient way? They will use so much time, so much money to do that. And at the same time, there is a huge chance of getting lots of errors. Instead, if we can teach a machine what is a positive sentiment and what is a negative sentiment, we can simply give the input to the machine and machine can let us know if the sentiment is positive or negative. It can also give us the percentage of negative sentiment, the percentage of positive sentiment with 99.99% accuracy. And this is a very simplified version of how a supervised learning works. Today they can do much more complex tasks and they can give you a lot more information than what I just explained. Here are some use cases of supervised learning. Disease detection, fraudulent activity detection, image recognition, customer behavior prediction, sentiment analysis as we already saw an example, sales and profit forecasting, and much more. Next, the unsupervised learning. In unsupervised learning, we feed the machine the uncategorized data, and machine can organize them as per the similarity. As you can see here, we have all these different kinds of shapes, but we are not telling the machine that this one is rectangle, this one is triangle, this one is circle, and this one is star. We are just giving them just uncategorized data and this machine is separating them in clusters, in separate clusters as per their shapes. That's what happens to data, text, or even images. If you can put them, this can separate them in separate clusters as per their type. Now, what unsupervised learning can do? Why it is helpful? Simply because in real world, we have lots of data that are not labeled. What we can do? We can do two things. We can use our time, money and resources and label those data and can do supervised learning to get this kind of very specific information. Or if we think we do not need this kind of very specific information, 
we can simply use an unsupervised learning method and just learn the data this way. Alright, these are some use cases of unsupervised learning. Recommendation system, customer segmentation, data exploration, targeted marketing campaign, data processing, and many more. What we learned today, what machine learning is, two major types of machine learning, and what those machine learning algorithms can do for you. That's all for today. I hope it was helpful. If you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much.